Topaz had gone, we're going to draw a ghoul, or a, let's say like a ghost skeleton. I think this thing's awesome. It's going to be easy, completely for beginners, okay? So if you're a beginner, stay right now. And it's only like seven minutes. Really short, short video, okay? Short, easy, beginners, Halloween, you know, or scary related. Let's hop in, okay? You can do, you can follow along with me, or you can uh, just watch. So, first thing I do here is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw a curve line here for the top of the head. Better with marker, but you can do this with a pencil. We're going to be dealing mostly with shadows. Curve underneath. This is again the head shape, like our particular head shape. Draw a line down here, you know, like a stick figure. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull a curved line with the open, open area here. Smile again for teeth. And I'm going to, on this lower half, I'm going to draw a zigzag shape in the middle there. So, I'm going to go over here to the eyes and I'm going to go over here, kind of on the center, curve up, right here, curve up, over here on this side, curve up. Curve up. And then I'm gonna fill in, or you don't even have to, but uh, I mean, I'm go you don't have to fill it in, honestly. It looks kind of cool like this, but we're gonna fill in. Because it can look, it looks skull like. If you just leave it white like that, it does look pretty cool. But I'm gonna fill it in to kind of give it a little bit more of a darker structure. The cool part with, with something being really dark is you can kind of like uh, play with it and toy with it, yeah? Go over here and now you can toy with it like you can draw like it has hair or something like that as long as you make it part of the overall structure it can look you can change it up and give it some bizarre qualities again you can draw hair you can draw horns right here you don't have to be like super big it could be super big if you want i'm gonna go right here at line of the shoulders I'm gonna draw a just kind of a kind of a rib cage like area, but not totally. And I'm gonna fill it in here as well. So I'm gonna do this dark area. Line over here for the arm. Line up. Line over here for this arm. Line up. And then I'm gonna have the wiggly line here of a ghost like tail. You know, I'm just gonna zigzag it first like that, almost like at the spring. And I want it to be thinnest here and gain thickness as it goes up, okay? So I want it to gain thickness and then it just goes right down to that tail. And again, a lot of this is me filling shapes in, right? This is why I think a marker word would work better, but again, you can still do this in pencil. Cool, let's go over here to the hand and I want them to have some pretty big like, like that's one finger, that's another finger, another finger on this side, and then let's say another finger over here. Right on. Let's go to the other side, same thing, one finger. It's good to draw like that shape in, and then after you draw that shape in, then you can kind of carve out that shape over here, right? I can give it like a little bit of a thickness, right? That's probably the easiest way to kind of toy with these shapes, is to do that. To give it a general shape and then give it a thickness. Right on. Let's go over here to the shoulder area. Let's make this a little bit bigger over here. Curve line here, curve line here, like it has some sort of rib cage thing sticking out. I think it really adds to the look, honestly, when you do that. And then maybe just add, now, at this point, we're just kind of adding extra details. Maybe like throwing out this little trail over here. You know, you're pulling out some stuff. You're literally just kind of adding extra stuff to it. It's not, there's nothing too wild about the rest of this. You can maybe add the little flares coming off of it. You 
looking at uh, like, like again thinner nail completely completely your choice but thank you so much I appreciate it that's pretty much it um, what I want you to do is I want you to subscribe to the channel um, I'm gonna be posting a lot during Halloween right now I'm posting every single day but during Halloween I'm posting three videos every day and they'd be very different uh, they're all gonna be like scary related or Halloween related because um, that's coming up Halloween but I want you to be in on it so uh, there's a lot lot gonna be happening so uh, you guys are awesome I appreciate it and I want you to do something for me I want you to share the video with a friend uh, and uh, that's pretty much it okay I will talk to you in the next video later, later hey for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare so the idea with this is that some people that you know for example on YouTube people just kinda wanna draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time they're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff you know long term um, and I get that that's fun but for some people some people wanna upgrade their art ability entirely like all around like they're serious about it if that's you go here um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime. I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing you never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it.